Hi everyone! I'm Marianne, I'm a visual artist and voice coach and welcome to day 24 of my 100 day vlog project. So this is a daily vlog series for 100 days where I share what I've learned in my journey so far as an artist and a creative um, and also things to do with you know pursuing your passion, following your heart, making your dreams come true, living a meaningful life, finding purpose in what you do. Uh, personal growth and evolution basically and a creative process and the artist journey as well so if you have questions related to any of these feel free to ask them in the comments or you can um, directly message me through any of my social media links in the write-ups attached to these videos so um these past couple of days i've been talking about you know how do we figure out what is the best thing for us right now um, as we unfold, you know, this journey called our life, basically. So yesterday, um, so before I get into that, I want to reiterate once again that, you know, only you can make this decision for yourself. Like, you are the best person to know your current circumstances and to know how you work um, as a person and what works for you. Um, and, you know, there really is no right or wrong answer as to what's best for you right now and only you can make that decision. Even if you ask your friends for advice and for their perspectives, it helps to get another opinion, another perspective because it helps you see things in a different way or to see more of what you can't see on your own otherwise. But ultimately, that decision is still yours. Um, so, you know, me doing my part here in, you know, giving you some idea and some perspective um, from my own journey. I have shared yesterday two ways that I, you know, put as a criteria for how do I choose what is the next best thing for me. So using the example of this 100 day vlog project, the first um, factor that went into making this decision to do this project was that it had to be something that I'm passionate about. Something that is truly meaningful for me, something that makes me feel like I am living a worthwhile purpose here. Um, so that's one criteria for me and I love talking about these things as you can tell um, it's been 23 days so far and I have not faltered yet okay I don't want to put that intention there I'm not gonna falter I'm gonna make it through to 100 days because this is what I'm passionate about um, and then the second factor that I chose is something that is challenging you know when something challenges me and forces me to grow and forces me out of my comfort zone that usually helps a lot in my decision making as well because I'm all about personal growth and development. I'm all about bettering myself in the different um, skill set that I have. I'm, I'm also all about, you know, discovering my true self, whatever that is, and discovering who I really am. And going on this journey of self-discovery and personal development, a lot of times it requires us to step outside of our comfort zone. Um, so one of the comfort zones for me is that I'm naturally a very shy and introverted person. If you had known me 20 years ago, you wouldn't see me doing this. You wouldn't think that I would actually be doing a vlog series right now. Um, but, you know, I have worked a very long time to get to this point. Um, so yeah, and I chose to do 100 days because, you know, it is far more challenging than doing a weekly vlog. So somehow... Me as a person, I always choose the more challenging route. For some reason, I always make things more difficult than they need to be. But that's just how I roll. And that's just what works for me. And it has worked for me in, you know, getting me on this journey and my evolution. So the third thing that, uh, the third factor that I have, you know, in choosing what's the best thing for me right now uh, is what I... It, it, it comes back down to what I shared on day one, which is, you know, do the thing that you're going to regret most not doing at the end of your life. Because chances are that thing that you're going to regret not doing is the thing that you must do. And a lot of times we already know what that thing is. We know that that is what we really want and that is what we have to do and that's what we have to accomplish for ourselves personally, not because someone else says you have to do it or not because the world says this is how things should be, but because it's something you really want for yourself. Um, so there's this artist, El Luna. She wrote this amazing article on Medium about the crossroads of should versus, versus the crossroads of should versus must. Um, so I'm going to let her speak for herself for that. So you can go and Google it and look it up. Um, I'll put a link somewhere in the write up. Um, it's really great because, you know, it gave me a perspective that a lot of times we always think that we, you know, we should do this, whatever that is, right? Like right now in my life, I should be 
whatever. I should get a better job. I should work towards a promotion. I should get married and have kids. I should retire soon. Um, and, and should a lot of times is something that is imposed on us by usually, you know, society or um, family expectations or because you compare yourself with your peers and you see that, oh, you know, this, you know, most of them are making something of themselves now and I should be too. Um, but should a lot of times isn't necessarily what you want and isn't necessarily what you feel you must do in your life such that you can say that you really live the best life that you could. Um, so for when it comes to this vlog project, it's something that I had been thinking about for months now. Okay, <laughs> like since um, since June, I've been meaning to start a weekly vlog and I just never got down to it. Okay, not even not even a peep, not even to record one video, let alone, you know, right now 24 videos over the last 24 days. Um, so yeah, this is something I've been thinking about for weeks. And if I were to be really honest with myself, you know, and look back even further years before, um, doing a weekly something has been something that is something that I've been wanting to do. Like I tried doing a weekly vlog and um, I really struggled a lot with it. And um, I, as an instructor, as a voice coach and a singing instructor, one of the things that I learned in my training is that sometimes it's actually easier to speak things out than to try to write it out. Like when we're preparing for a workshop and you have to write a script, it's easier to talk things out. Um, so I kind of knew that already and that has worked for me too when I'm writing a script but I never you know I never um, allowed myself to try doing that um, to try writing blog articles from doing a video or a voice recording first um, so now you know it turns out that you know maybe instead of a weekly vlog I'm gonna do a hundred day vlog and um, kind of force myself to do it because I have a feeling if I do a weekly thing I'm probably not going to follow through with it um, so yeah you know what is it that you feel that you must do what is that one thing that you know at the end of your life if you look back and you don't actually do it you're going to regret and we all have that we all already know what that thing is um, so whatever that thing is you know there is no better time than now to get started on it um, you know even if it's a very big project or a very big dream that you have like for me you know painting 100 dream tree murals around the world is a very big long-term project um, you know even if it's, if it's such a big project there is still that next step that very first step that you need to take right now that gets you one step closer and that would be the next best thing for you um, so maybe I'll share more about this another time or tomorrow uh, but in the meantime if you like this video subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page wherever you're watching this on. And if you have questions, ask them in the comments or directly message me in my social media links in the write-up. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.